Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In today's video, we will be looking into one of the most undervalued responsibility of a quantity surveyor and that is called material reconciliation. We all know that most of the construction projects are going into loss and there are different reasons for that. And one major reason for this is not having a proper monitoring of the materials that is being delivered to the site. Now, as I said earlier, this is one of the most underrated responsibility of a quantity surveyor. Most construction projects or project managers don't give importance to this exercise in a project. If a regular material reconciliation is being done in any project, then definitely these projects can become economical. If this exercise is done, then the percentage of the materials that is being wasted can be easily identified and then accordingly proper actions can be taken which can save a lot of money in that project. Now if you browse through the net to find out the wastage limit, the permissible limit, you can find different articles on it. In this table, I have mentioned the permissible wastage limit of some major construction materials. You can also easily browse in the net and find out the limits and you can understand for each material what will be the excess wastage that is happening in any project. Now let's understand what the main problem that happens with the materials that is being delivered in your site. Now mostly for any material to come at site, there needs to be an LPO issued to that supplier. Without that, any supplier will not be delivering anything to the site, your construction site. So a proper documentation is being done in this part, that is the LPO or you can also call it as the local purchase order. Only once that is issued, the material is delivered to site. And once the material comes to the site, the store in charge is responsible for storing that material properly in the stores or in the warehouses. Now the major problem comes at this stage when the material is released to site. Now most of the projects don't keep a proper documentation while releasing the materials to the site. At this stage, if a proper documentation is being maintained, then definitely this can be used by a quantity surveyor to do a proper material reconciliation. Maybe every month a material reconciliation sheet can be prepared like how a quantity surveyor prepares an interim payment application every month definitely a material reconciliation can be also prepared accordingly using all these documents and this can be used by the project in charge to understand if wastage is being in excess or what are the materials that is getting wasted in excess in uae when i joined a new company which was almost 50 percentage into their completion the first thing that the project manager asked me to do was a material reconciliation at that time i was new to this term and really did not know how to go about it like how to start this process so once i interacted with the store department i found out that there was not proper documentation being maintained and it was becoming difficult to understand how to prepare this sheet after interacting with them i found out how this could be sold and i instructed them to keep a record of whatever material is being released to the site so that at the end a proper record can be kept for what the materials were delivered and what were released to the site and from these figures the wastage can be easily calculated. I prepared a format during that time which I still use whenever I am responsible for any project. So this sheet I have used wherever I start a new project and I make it a point to talk to the storekeeper and instruct him to keep a proper documentation of what is being released to the site. What is coming to the site, definitely documentation will be there because without an LPO or without a purchase order, no materials can be delivered. So for each material, you can prepare different tabs and make this format. I'll explain this format. So first column is your SL number, then is your material description. Then you have the LPO number based on which the delivery is being made. Then we have the delivery order number, the delivery date, the quantity that is being delivered, the unit of measurement if it is in numbers, meters. So another thing is major material reconciliation is done for measurable items. The major countable items like the panels or the DBs, 
a choose for the such items a material reconciliation is not done because we all know that it can be easily counted and only what is required for the site is being ordered and that is also used so there is no need for a separate sheet for such items whatever comes to site is installed in the site for MEP materials mainly the pipes the ducts then the cables these are the materials that is measurable so you can easily understand how much is installed and from the LPOs you can understand how much material is delivered to the site and then to understand how much material is being released to site a proper documentation needs to be maintained as I said earlier so you as the store department can maintain a book for it there can be some number given to it and whenever a supervisor or a foreman or an engineer comes to take that material the details of that material like how much quantity is being taken and the date everything can be mentioned and a sign needs to be done so that you can understand which foreman or the which supervisor has taken that particular material to site so for example here under site release number 345 on this date this much material was taken so again on another date this much material was taken like that you can note down all these details in this sheet so try to make all your pipe sizes of one size together there will be different LPOs that will be coming for that particular pipe so that is why you can see here there are two LPOs two deliveries being made so the total deliveries being made can be noted down and the total material that is being released to the site can also be noted down so you will not have an idea like in each lot there will be the site release will be mixed you don't know from which lot of material this pipe this 550 pipe was released to site it can be from this lot from this delivery it can be from this delivery so so you need to make sure to always maintain the cumulative number that is the cumulative of the orders being delivered and a cumulative of the materials being released to site so a total as of date if you are making a reconciliation sheet for a particular month and if this is the cumulative materials being delivered of this particular item this is the cumulative material that is released to site so once you have this information the next information which you need to have is the quantity that was installed or certified till date by your client or the consultant so that also you can mention here that you can easily get it from your certified payment applications so out of the 5500 meters that was delivered 3250 was released to the site 3050 meters was certified till date so your balance actual stock if you see here there are two types of stock one is balance stock which is actual and the other one is the balance stock that is physical so what is the difference now balance stock actual is quantity delivered minus quantity that is installed so that is the actual side so what is being delivered and what is being installed so in actual in your store this should be the material the remaining balance material in actual but balance stock physical is the quantity that is delivered minus the quantity that is released to the site so out of the 5500 meters 3250 meters is released to the site so in physical physically if you see in your store this is the quantity of material that will be in your stock so your wastage is actually going to be your actual stock minus physical stock so 200 meters is your wastage now you can mention a column for standard wastage percentage so usually for MEP materials it is around 2 to 5 percentage so I have mentioned it as 5 percentage and then you can calculate your actual percentage of this particular ma material so that is the wastage quantity divided by whatever is released at site out of the 3250 meters 200 meters was wastage that means around 6.15 percentage is wastage which is above the permissible standard wastage limit so you can put formulas to highlight whatever is going over the permissible limit so once this sheet is prepared your project team can look into it your project manager can see that this pipe of 50 mm is being wasted above the permissible limit and accordingly the execution team can be notified about it and a reason for this can be obtained from them and also instruct them to do a proper 
usage of the materials so like this you can prepare different tabs or different materials and keep an update a monthly update and this can be monitored every month by the project team and accordingly proper actions can be taken so i hope this concept is clear if you require this sheet please put up your email ids in the comment section i'll be happy to share this with you so i hope the site quantity surveyors who are watching this video can use this format this template in their projects and can advise the project managers to maintain this sheet so that a proper cost control can be done in your projects if you found it to be useful please do like this video and please share it with your colleagues please don't forget to subscribe to quantity surveying studio for more informative videos like this thanks a lot for watching stay safe bye